So we know that there there is definitely a connection between food deficiencies and uh, you know any disorders. Uh, that is an area that has actually uh, you know undergoing a lot of research now. Uh, you have Dr. Omar from Dr. Uh, from Harvard University who also talks about the connection between brain and food because we see that a lot of vitamins actually are you know they're deficient in people who come with bipolar disorders and schizophrenia and any other like I mentioned in anxiety. So you definitely, um, you know, when uh, vitamin D, for example, was just initially uh, connected only to bone health, but then they found that there was a huge connection with depression. People who were deficient in vitamin D actually have depression as well. So similarly, you know, vitamin B12 has also been, um, you know, um, uh, indicated in a lot of cases with depression and anxiety. So th definitely there is a connection between this. So you, you, if you have any, uh, you know, mental disorders, you definitely want to go get, you know, your blood test taken and, uh, you know, you definitely want to take a look at that. As far as eating disorders concerned, it's, it's a very complicated uh, area, uh, you know, anorexia or, you know, bulimia, they definitely have you know, both aspects where they have like a mental aspect to it, where they have like a very, you know, difficult and complicated relationship with food leading to a lot of, you know, like food deprivation, which leads to, you know, uh, deficiencies and then that kind of just messes it up. So there is no, uh, you know, confirmed studies that this deficiency causes this um you know, so, so and so mental disorders, but that is because this field is very recent and new. So inshallah, you know, that is a thing with nutrition, right? It's always changing. So there is a lot of information that is coming up. Uh, so we definitely want to keep